the heart disease question is that how do you diagnose and or for a normal person to know that am I having a heart disease? Uh, sometimes it actually comes as a first manifestation that you had a heart attack. And of course, once you start having chest pain, shortness of breath, but that's a small percentage. Majority of our patients still have symptoms of heart disease and that basically is when you exercise, walk, develop shortness of breath, develop chest pain, feel fatigue, and that leads to further testing. And the most important testing is appropriate consultation by the trained doctor, whether it's an internal medicine doctor or a cardiologist. And once the cardiologist examines the patient and then they assess the risk of heart disease, that what are the and the likelihood of a heart disease in that particular patient. And based on that, various tests are ordered. Commonly, besides doing electrocardiogram and regular blood test, is the stress test. That means you walk on a treadmill, sometimes just by the monitoring the electrocardiogram, and sometimes give an injection, we call radionuclear test, and that gives the pictures of the heart and if you are suffering from heart disease, gives a very accurate assessment of if there is a heart disease or not, and if it is, how severe it is. Then another test is echocardiogram at rest or during exercise. And another test which is becoming very popular now is the 64 or 128 slice CT scan, or we call CT angiography. And that's a non-invasive test just like we as an international cardiologist do, put a dye into the arteries of the heart, and this CT angio is a non-invasive, just a dye is injected through the vein and takes a quick picture of the heart. It's like a CAT scan, takes only a few minutes and gives a very accurate assessment of the status of the arteries of the heart, uh, the blockage or not, and heart function.